This is Ozzy Griffin doing an addendum to my last video. A lot of people accuse my generation, almost everyone born after 1979 of uh, being stuck in the mindset of teenagers and children. And I can't honestly say that they're wrong. One thing you learn in schooling is that exceptional work does not get you rewards. Doing things well does not, like one or two things well, might get you a little pat on the head on the day. It does not get you a distinction from other people. The only thing that gets you any sort of meaningful recognition is that bloody grade uh, at the end of the year when you're doing your tests. Or uh, more importantly, the Victorian Certificate of Education here in my home state of Victoria, the VCE. That is the Valhalla, okay? That is the Valhalla of education. The, everybody's whipping, whipping you, slave driving you. The finish line, the finish line, the finish line. VCE, schoolies week. Schoolies week is when all the um, kids from other states go up to the Gold Coast in Queensland, uh, where all the high-rise buildings are, uh, and basically just get loaded up on alcohol and act like idiots. So, excuse me if I would think that a more fitting uh, end might be more akin to the valedictory dinner I had at my secondary school. Anyway. So I basically, um, yeah, that was the Valhalla. So what I did about six months before, um, six months before we were set to, you know, take our exams and see what our scores were, I went to about three or four kids, about my age. Um, well, so my age was a senior campus, they're all my age. 17, 18 year old kids. And they were 17 or 18 year old kids, not young adult like everyone would like you to think. And you say, I asked them, what are you going to do once you're, you know, once VCE is out of the way, what are you going to do then? And they always had this god-awful moment of, si of, of half second of silence. And it's what's called mental turnaround time. Where you stop thinking in one way about things and you try thinking differently. You know, when you're studying like Zen Buddhism or something, you school yourself and being able to switch uh, between them really quickly. I sort of self-taught here, so I'm not incredible at it. However, they had these moments and some were a little annoyed at me and some were just confused and they said, gee, I don't know, I mean, you know, we've got some courses, you know, we've got some stuff, you know, it depends on how you do the exams. And there's this fear and uncertainty underlying the whole thing because, you know, the exams, ooh, you may not pass from this veil of concrete and, you know, bad quality tuck shop food unto the hallowed heights of uh, greater academia. Uh, where there is, you know, better quality tuck shop food, you know, in proper cafeterias that cost you slightly more. And I'll tell you what contributed to it. Uh, in the junior campus, you got a machine readable fill of the dots out with a particular kind of pencil test. And I was told that I'd probably make a really good museum tour guide. I remember that to the day I die. Because it probably would have been a great job. Anyway, and I do know a lot about art. So, basically there's that, and then there is uh, the senior campus. Now, it's only the senior students, like the last grade level, so that's only about maybe 70, maybe 95 at the most kids in uh, that level of education, like in that school. You've got across about 30 weeks, so it's 5 days a week times 3 is 15. So you've got about 150 days, give or take, in which you can sit down with each one of these kids for a period and just harangue them. Just, you know, say, you know, what are you good at? What are you bad at? What are your underlying traits? Do you remember what the results were on that machine test from the junior campus? You know, and this guy, when I met him, I only met him for one period, and I only ever had one period with him, and it was just me, me and him, so one-on-one, -on -one, so that's not a bad thing. Came across as the most intellectually weak man I've ever met in my life. And that's saying something. I've met drug druggies and narcissists and uh, pot smokers. And I don't consider pot smokers proper, you know, no hope of druggies, you know. And 
street kids who had more more going on upstairs than this bloke. And he's just like, so like, you have any hobbies, any interests, stuff like that? And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm a you know, kick-ass English major. I was told, you know, on that test in the junior campus, I'd probably make a good museum tour guide. He's like, yeah, yeah, great, you should, you should do something like that, yeah. That was about it. It was not until later that I was stressing out about, you know, leaving the school and... Because I knew I wasn't going to get an incredible score. That I talked to my sister's friend, who used to be a careers counsellor, who told me the phrase, play to your strengths. I'd never heard the phrase, play to your strengths, until that point. That's not good! So, yeah. I'm sorry for bitching at the camera, however... These were some of the, frankly, humiliating... Uh, experiences I had with secondary education in Australia, in Victoria in particular, and I've got to say, it speaks a lot to the culture because now you've got middle management and upper management in some companies here in Australia that are relearning slowly and painfully, I might add, how to reward people as good employees. And they don't have really much of an incentive to do that because they usually ship the jobs offshore anyway. That's called the race to the bottom, people. Australia used to have call centres. We used to have a lot more of them. I used to work in one. If I'd had a good careers counsellor, who knows? I might have gotten into customer service way earlier. Who knows? And I still, like Charlotte Isabey, think that it's deliberate. Uh, of course, that makes me a conspiracy theorist, because why wouldn't they want kids to excel? Really? If you've had to ask that question, the mental turnaround time is going to kill you. Anyway, Mozzie Griffin, I'm finally glad I did this in a way that uh, didn't have me screaming at the camera too much. And, uh, yeah, basically just got some of my thoughts out there.